Tonight, for the first time, we take you behind the scenes as Fairfax County Police investigated a McLean woman they suspected of killing both her mother and sister, then staging the scene to look like a murder-suicide. More than 190 exhibits were introduced during the murder trial last month. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey shows us some of the crucial moments in a story you'll see only on News 4. Detectives brought Megan Hargan in for questioning five days after her mother and younger sister were found shot to death in the McLean home they shared with Hargan and her seven-year-old daughter. At first, detectives show sympathy. I mean, Friday's difficult, very difficult for you. It's understandable. But obviously, Friday's important. I know. To try to figure and out I, what I happened. Told, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just exhausted. At the time, the deaths were still being portrayed publicly as a murder-suicide. 23-year-old Helen suspected of killing her mom, Pam, then herself. But detectives had already discovered evidence suggesting it was Megan who had a motive. She was closing on a new home the day of the killings and was trying to fraudulently transfer more than $400,000 from her mom's bank account. You presented yourself as someone that you are not. In order yeah, okay. to secure a wire transfer okay, okay. for over okay. four hundred thousand dollars okay. on two okay. two occasions. Detectives press even harder, asking why on the day of the shootings it was Megan who answered her mom's phone when the bank called. You're oh, pretending to be your mother. She's alive. Why isn't she answering the phone call? Megan starts to break. There was never a clear confession, but unable to answer detectives' questions, Megan throws up her hands. You have got to unload this. Blame me. That's fine. There's nothing. Just blame me. Another critical piece of evidence, an audio recording of the moment a detective tells Megan Hargan and her sister Ashley that their mom and sister are dead. I can't. I, this is But Megan also starts to point to her little sister as a problem. She wants nothing to do with the family. She just wants to be off on her own. While those early encounters with detectives were revealing, police spent 15 months gathering the evidence needed to bring charges. Evidence that enabled a jury to convict Megan Hargan of two counts of first degree murder. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. And that jury recommended two life prison terms. Final sentencing set for October. Megan Hargan maintains her innocence.